Hi guys and welcome back here to Drone Emotion, a channel where we do drone videos and where we cover the most recent and most relevant drone news. Today my friends we're back here once again with a brand new video and with a very exciting one for all of you and that is because in today's video we're going to be talking about the Autel Evo Nano, the Autel Evo Mini and we're going to be talking to you about the specs that it's going to be having, we have them confirmed ranging from the fly time to the range to the weight to the versions that are going to be available to the colors and a whole lot more info you're not going to want to miss out on but before we get started with today's video if you're new to the channel welcome here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because in this channel we will always be the first ones to bring in the most recent drone news no matter what so if you want to keep updated with any updates on whether it is the Mini 3, the Mavic 3, the Evo Mini or any other upcoming drone guys you know that this is the place to come for all of those updates and also we're currently in the road to 10,000 subscribers so if you're watching today's video and you're not subscribed yet well I invite you to go ahead and join the Drone Emotion family so you can help us get reached to that goal which we're really not that far away from we're less than 3,000 subscribers away so with that being said and without any much further ado let's go ahead and get us started with today's video which is going to be quite exciting well about three days ago we talked to you guys about the Autel Nano which had been leaked and well just today Autel had, has made an official announcement on their social media including Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and they have revealed to us the Auto Nano. Well, they have kind of teased it but they have not fully rebuilt it yet. So, let's why don't we just go ahead and take a look at what Auto shared on their social media accounts right here on the screen. So, there we have it and it says the following. The wait will be over in hashtag nanosecond. So, that is what Autel had to share and there we see four different color variants of the Autel Nano. Now in our last video we, we shared with you the name that this new drone was going to be having. It was not going to be named the Evo Mini but rather the Autel Nano and right here it's proof of that 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 is going to be the name that Autel is going to be giving it. Now on that first image that is quite revealing because from this we're able to tell you and share with you that there are going to be four color four color choices which we're going to be able to choose from. We're going to be having white, which I'm a big fan of, even though it's not easy to spot when you're, whenever you're flying, we are all, we're going to be having our traditional auto orange, which I quite like as well. Our, our kind of typical DJI gray, which is nice too. And that reddish orange, which, look, which looks really good. So that was the official announcement made by Autel in their social media. But that's not it. We have a whole lot more info we're gonna go ahead and go through because we have the confirmed specs that the Evo Mini is going to be having. So this means that the Evo Mini or the Auto Nano is going to be releasing, I mean, really, really soon. The fact that Auto teased and said that any second this Nano drone is going to be releasing and that means that we could be seeing this month, this new drone literally this month i mean this is right around the corner and as soon as we have the confirmed release date you guys know you're going to be having having it here first so make sure you turn on your, do, all those post notifications so you don't miss out on that video as soon as it goes live here in the channel so let's go ahead and talk about the specifications that this new auto nano is going to be having so the first thing that we know is that this drone is going to be weighing under 250 grams so that's something that we already knew and this is going to be a direct competitor to the DJI Mini 2, the Sino Mini Pro and the Sino Mini SE. So that's good news. And with all of those regulations getting stricter, we know that more companies are going to be pushing drones which are going to be weighing under 250 grams. Now what else do we know? Well, we know that this drone is going to be highly portable. It's going to have a smart flight fit. So you can expect to have your active track and all of those modes that we have come to love with DJI drones, it's quite likely that Auto is going to be incorporating all of those in this new Auto Nano. Well, what about fly time? What will it be? Well, unfortunately, it's not going to be as impressive as I thought it was going to be. The fly time for the Auto Nano is going to be 30 minutes. 
that's going to be the flight time on paper of the Auto Nano probably in real life you're going to be getting between 24 and 26 minutes of actual flight time so it's not bad it's basically the same flight time that we have with the DJI Mini 2 pretty much the same what about range well the range is also going to be really good in fact we thought that it was going to be a Wi-Fi transmission system but not guys don't worry we're going to be having a really good transmission system with this new Auto Nano. In fact, it's going to be able to provide a maximum range up to 10 kilometers, which is equivalent to right around six miles, which is basically the same range that we also have with the Mini 2 from DJI, which uses Oxygen 2.0, which is really good. And well, we have two different options that which we're going to be able to choose from. And you might be a little bit confused here, but yes, Auto is going to be releasing two different variants with this new Auto Nano. They're going to be releasing the Evo Mini without obstacle avoidance. That's going to be the first version that's going to be available. And then there's going to be a second one, which is going to be the Evo Mini Plus with obstacle avoidance sensors in the front, in the back, and in the bottom. So that is quite nice. The fact that Hobson is going to be giving us both of these options quite nice because that means but that basically the Evo Mini is going to be probably more cheaper because it doesn't have those obstacle avoidance sensors. And then we have that Evo Mini Plus for all of those pilots that want to have the best of the best and the best specs when it comes to obstacle avoidance and have the most complete package. Well, this is going to be the one to go for. Obviously, it's going to be a bit more expensive but it's nice that Auto is giving us both of these options. So those are the specs that we have at the moment for the Evo Mini. We're still missing on some very important ones, which include the resolution. Most likely it will be 4K30 or 4K60, but as soon as it is confirmed, don't worry guys, you know that you're gonna be having it here first. So let's go ahead and take a look at a quick recap of everything we just talked about. Here are the confirmed specs that we have received thanks for great guy and great friend Jasper Allen on Twitter. So let's go ahead and take a look at it right here on the screen. So that is all of the specs that we have confirmed so far on the Evo Mini. As you can see right there, it says that it has a release date of August, but most likely that was the release date or let's say it was the time frame that Autel set themselves in order to have this product finished and ready to go. But most likely this drone is going to be releasing probably this month of September or most likely next month in October. But this drone is right around the corner. As soon as we have any more information guys, don't worry, you know you're going to be having it here first. That's everything that we have so far. Thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Drone Emotion, signing out.